Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I'm going to talk about shining the light on our media, okay? Um, We're going to shine the light on some of the things that the media reports on. Um, Now, I'm not going to make this one of those uh, messages that is dated. Um, So I don't want to refer specifically to a bunch of names that are in media right now and then end up dating the message. But what I do want to do is direct your attention on researching people that are in mainstream media before going along with the programming, okay? Too much of that goes on. And the reason being is because most folks do not... uh, go to college for things like writing and journalism and, you know, public relations and, you know, advertising and marketing. So they are presented with stories and they take those stories and they pretty much talk about them to others. But as far as thinking deeply about what they are saying, um, whether or not the story is in fact fair and accurate and all of that, they're not interested in those sorts of things. Okay. But when you have a background in this sort of thing, you do question, you want to know who, what, when, where, how, why, and all of that. And so what happens is periodically I get, uh, some emails that are sent privately that, uh, talk about different things that is going on in the media. Um, I will tell you that when the politicians started coming out on the scenes, uh, a lot of folks, of course, were going along with their favorites, you know, the ones that were constantly being put in front of us. And then there were those individuals that started coming out more and more, um, but weren't so popular. Um, but behind every politician, Okay, and once again, I'm not dating this message. I want this to be timeless behind every politician that comes out. Okay, in the mainstream media world, there are stories behind that politician that are not flattering. There are things that they have done that are uh, unrighteous. And one will definitely have to be in prayer if he or she is a Christian um, to find out what in fact is truth, what in fact is lie. Every politician is going to work very hard to keep their old business. Okay. Quiet. Even if that means that some folks have to lose lives. I know that's hard for people to wrap their heads around, but If the enemy moves people to lie, to steal, you know, to argue, to cause all sorts of havoc, he also moves people in very powerful positions to murder as well. That is a fact. So what you should be doing when you see these politicians coming out here, you know, saying what they're going to do and making all these promises and so forth, you also should be looking for some old stories that share their character traits that reveal their connections. Okay. Um, that talk about their personal views on women and men and, uh, um, you know, government, uh, programs, uh, education, the things that matter to you. So if taxes is an issue for you, then of course you need to be checking out things related to your personal interests. Okay. Not just going along with that media story of how great and wonderful a person is. So how do you go about digging for this information? Well, first of all, You want to find out if there's any authors who have put out an unofficial biography of a politician or an entertainer, if that um, is what's going on uh, at the time that you're listening to this message. Somebody who keeps being put in front of your face. Find out if there's any unofficial biographies. Okay. the reason why I say unofficial is because guess what? There is no approval 
right? There is no approval coming directly from that entertainer, from the politician, from, you know, uh, someone who owns a business or what have you. So that means that that writer is going to find some information and put that information in the book. And it's not going to be um, uh, the kind of information that's going to paint this beautiful picture of that person in question. Okay. And that's what you want. You want to be able to see good, bad, and ugly with all individuals. The problem is, is that for so long, our society will put out the best personalities, the best um, folks in terms of how they speak, how they articulate, um, you know, the type of people that are very controlled, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually, they're not going to slip. So we don't get, you know, an idea of what they're really thinking because they've got PR people around them telling them things. So when somebody comes out and they start really speaking their truth and how they feel, um, if you're used to political correctness, you're not going to take too kindly to that person because you are used to the polished person, the one that is very good at covering who they really are behind closed doors. Now, do you want the person that's straightforward and truthful, even with the good, bad and ugly? Or do you want the polished person that keeps a lot of their negativity and ignorance and so forth, you know, under wraps? And then you can find out all of that later. You know, hey, it's up to the individual. Now, when you're doing this research, you also want to check social media pages. Yes, of course, they have PR people that create these pages. But the comments, though, some of those comments slip through that are not, um, you know, flattering. And in those comments are usually uh, some information that you can be able to look up elsewhere about someone that you didn't know about okay so those social media pages um, are very helpful now there are those sites that will control uh, the links you see that's why some sites don't want um, to offer links at the end um, of uh, those uh, web stories um, because they don't want you going somewhere else and looking up some information others may not even invite comments whatsoever they'll just block them out and then uh, you just have uh, some where they will make you sign in before you can comment, which a lot of folks don't like to do, you know. So you want to kind of stay away from those because they're controlled. You see, those sites are controlled. A place, though, where you can get some good information are blogs, too. You know, not everybody is ignorant. Not everybody is uneducated who has a blog. There are a lot of former workers, okay, former staffers, former assistants, okay, people who worked closely with individuals who have blogs, um, who have uh, videos. Um, sometimes they are anonymous. Sometimes they will put their names out there. You're going to have to weed through the information to get the truth, to find out um, whether something is valid based on whatever your preferences are. Okay. Another thing you want to look into are those websites that uh, are not popular. They're really not, um, but they've got some really good information. Okay. Um, they've got some folks that interviewed uh, someone who used to work with uh, this political candidate um, knows the sister, the daughter, um, the son, sometimes relatives of the candidates who are disgruntled will come out and start talking. You know, so if you can get a list of names of relatives, look them up and see what they're saying about politicians and entertainers. And of course, a lot of them will be um, either paid off to not say anything or they may even act as disinformation agents, not giving you the straight information, but giving you something else to take you down some other rabbit hole. OK, um, so watch out for that sort of thing. 
Um, notice, I'm not recommending the mainstream news. The mainstream news is good in terms of telling you that the person is out there, okay? And that the person um, has ABC affiliation. But the mainstream news is not good in terms of giving you the truth nowadays. We're talking about the truth without um, taking out information or phrasing it in such a way where it is flattering the person and all that other stuff. You want to hear what's really going on. What has this person done for you? What has this person done for the community? Why is this person worth even listening to? Okay. Um, there are sites that list the body counts of those uh, folks who um, are in political office, how they got rid of some folks to keep them quiet during scandals. So you should list the scandals that that particular person was connected to and then find out who all was responsible for um, maybe exposing um, who worked closely with the individuals during the scandal and now are RIP, resting in peace. Okay. Why would they be gone? You see, that's the question. Why? Why would they suddenly be gone? What did they know? What did they expose? Who were they connected to? And, you know, what would be the vested interest of getting rid of them? Okay. Um, this is crucial information. When you're shedding the light on media stories, especially those that affect your community, you want to uncover everything. Find out what their um, civic group associations are, what their fraternal. Fraternal is very important because they're not just waving their hands in certain ways just because. They communicate different signals to their sisterhood, to their brotherhood. And then you need to find out the history of that particular sorority, fraternal group um, that they're a part of, in addition to any secret societies that are out there. And no, we're not talking about conspiracies. We're not talking about coming up with some crazy thought and then running away with it. We're talking about factual information that prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that this individual is indeed affiliated with this particular group. And these special interest groups paid them X, Y, Z amount of money to say this, that, and the other, or to get this done. And whatever this is may have uh, caused much harm to people health-wise. It could have been something that uh, endangered children. It could have murdered sons and daughters. Um, it could have robbed the public blind. You know, find out. Find out what this stuff is. Um, there's also those groups that will expose other groups. Now, sometimes they work to our advantage because uh, if the enemy uh, that uh, a political group wants to bring down um, is up to something, okay, uh, then they're going to expose some of the agenda. OK, so you note down what's being exposed and then you follow up looking around, finding out, OK, what else has come out since the last time I checked on this information, you know. So this is helpful information. I thank you as always for listening and to God be the glory.